we're gonna see how this goes. Get ready with me while I talk about how I went from knowing absolutely nothing about being an actor, having no prior connections with friends or family or anything, to acting in stuff with um, Netflix, Marvel, Universal, Blumhouse, Fox, but join me, my first YouTube video. You're gonna notice that these are filmed out of order um, because I can't get it together. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kat Connor Sterling. I'm currently most known for playing Max in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. You may also know me as Presley in Netflix is a week away. Um, I did uh, 911, The Gifted, The Resident, I'm forgetting some things, but a handful of other things. Don't judge. The reason it's like this is because I'm being responsible and I am washing my sheets. <laughs> cooking a sweet potato um, and watching Dance Moms and doing my makeup. So, like I said, I knew absolutely nothing about acting. My family was had nothing to do with the entertainment industry. We didn't know anyone in the entertainment industry because we lived in Memphis, Tennessee. Like how are we supposed to know anyone? I always knew from the age of like five that that is what I wanted to do. Randomly, I would watch music videos and then instead of like wanting to be the singer in the music videos, you know how sometimes they would have like actors in those music videos acting it out? Like I would act out in front of my mirror music videos. Like I would want to be the actor in it. I want to be in the TV. I remember thinking that. Very complicated considering I knew no one and was five years old. I know all of you are gonna sit here and judge me for this, and I've already messed it up, but we're just gonna keep going. I'm getting in some mean comments. We're gonna make it work. So I did local theater. I grew up the classic theater kid. Um, I'm, you haven't noticed already, you guys. I am filming these out of order because I am ADHD and I can't get it together. I got my first professional theater job at 13 working at a, like a regional professional theater. It was called The Miracle Worker and I had a teeny tiny part as one of the blind girls and I got paid 150 bucks and I really thought I was a big, big deal. As much as I love theater, and I still do love theater, I always knew in my heart that I wanted to be in film and television. I just, I think it's so magical. I was younger, I was like a teenager. I got a local agent and then I did some local stuff and ended up doing probably the worst short film to ever exist. It was a non-paid short film. I thought I was had truly gone Hollywood at this point. I was like, this is gonna be nominated for an Oscar. It did not. Actually, it was so bad that I refused to show any of my family and friends and it's been buried for eternity. Um, <laughs> I ended up going to school for musical theater my junior year, I just kept remembering how much I love film and television. I really, really wanted to be involved in that. So my junior year, I did my research, worked really hard, um, got my headshot resume together, and I ended up getting an Atlanta agent. I was super, super fortunate because on one of my first auditions within, I don't know, I guess it was a couple months of signing, I ended up booking not the first thing, but one of the first things that I auditioned for. And it was a Marvel show called The Gifted. I played a teenage mutant and it was awesome. I mean, that was really what solidified that this is like what I really wanted to do. I mean, my first job was a Marvel set. It was just a tiny part. I had, I drove back and forth from school to Atlanta. Oh, hey Desi. Um, drove back and forth from school to Atlanta to film it. There was like an exploding cop car. I was this mutant and screaming for my dad. And oh my gosh, it was awesome. And then I didn't even know the best part is that there's free food on set. Like I just filled up on that. I took some home actually. Wow. I need to do this for the rest of my life. Up, I graduated and then another very, very fortunate thing happened to me in that I sent in a tape for a national open call and ended up beating out like, I think hundreds of other girls for a role in a Netflix movie musical. That was my first um, job post-graduation. <laughs> was that not insane? She said that was like literally insane. She wasn't alive then, but she said it was insane. 
Okay, that's that out. I'll go more into detail about that in another um, video. This is just my little synopsis for now. Um, there, I went and on to do like some TV stuff, just little things in the re uh, yeah the resident and 911, other stuff in between that. But most recently, um, a lot of you know me from the thing that probably changed my life the most in Five Nights at Freddy's. I feel like people assume because you know they assume Hollywood. Like, if you're an actor in Hollywood, you're, like, really rich or whatever, and you've been in these movies, a lead in a Netflix movie, and then you're in this other big movie and some TV shows. You must be rich. Oh, no. No, no, no. Um, I actually do have day jobs. One of my day jobs is that I am a babysitter, and I love kids. Yes, my life has been complicated by me being in some couple notable things that sometimes the kids will know. Yeah, it does make it weird. Also a social media manager as well for another day job. That's nothing that I'm ashamed of. I feel like more actors need to be more open and honest about it because, oh my gosh, she's got a rapper. I feel like more actors need to be like open and honest about that. A lot more actors than you think have day jobs and they're just too embarrassed to admit it but i don't think it's embarrassing i am able to pay my bills because i'm smart with my money and all that all that jazz look what she did to my lip gloss come here come she did that oh and she has no regrets she'll do it again my parents aren't super wealthy like my family's not super wealthy i've always had everything i've needed I've been really, really blessed. It's not like, you know, I'm a Nepo baby and able to afford trips out to pilot season when I was younger. Or just, you know, my parents foot the bill for me to go out to LA or anything. And so that, that makes it more complicated. But maybe someone could find me relatable and that I'm able to pursue this dream. And I didn't have those things. And maybe, you know, you could do it too. And she could stop trying to eat my lip gloss. I have a lot of other ideas for vlogs. I've got a lot to say and I feel like I'm like decently interesting. I am a blind mom and she's hilarious. I don't know, I just got a lot I wanna talk to you guys about. I also have a cute dog. She's really bad, but she will obviously be making some appearances. You should subscribe, hang on. Eventually, you'll get to see that I do have bedding. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys soon.